Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and I am with... Page of Maces. Yay! Yay! Team Team Antique Weaponry is back in non-Minecraft. I know, so weird. Have we have we ever done have we done a non-Minecraft collab before, or have we just talked about it? I think we just talked about it. We've never yeah. actually done it. I'm very excited. So this game is called Elegy for a Dead World, and I'm scooting my dude around. This you've been saying <laughs> you had a lot of fun doing this, scooting yeah. your dude. It's just so fun. Just it's really to... all right. So that's a good start. Scooting the dude. So Scoot this the game, dude. they kind of promoted this game as a game about writing fiction. So essentially what happens is as you go through the game and your character explores the landscapes, it kind of gives you writing prompts that like basically help you write a short story about the world that you're exploring, which I think is a really interesting idea. So there's three portals to three different worlds, one at the top and the bottom right and the bottom left. So which one do you want to go to? I'm kind of being drawn to the bookshelf one just because you know, I am the biggest book nerd ever. That's a great. Is that the top middle for you? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know if they moved around. Let's go there. Press enter to open portal. Oh, start writing your stories, commendations, read, cancel. I guess uh, start writing because we haven't okay. written anything. Yeah, start, start writing, yeah. Choose a writing prompt. Uh, um, hmm. Free for we sh I I guess we should probably pick a one of them, right? Not right. the blank, not the free form writing, because we gotta get started. I like the sound of plundering Byron a musical, even though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. Welcome to Nadia, thief of Byron's world. You pluck trinkets from the dead and sell them on to the black market. This is your song. <laughs> I like it. All right. There's 10 sections, word count 120. I don't know what those mean yet, but we'll we'll see. Let's do that. Plundering Byron a musical. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Have you loaded? Yeah. Okay, well, first thing that's important is if you press up, you jump and float. Okay, and press tab to write. Oh. Did you walk forward and it tell you to do that, or did yeah. it just happen? Okay. I walked forward, and then uh, there's like a little press feather. Press tab to write. Oh, okay. when you walk over the feather. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Thank you for blank, the blank of Byron's world. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for playing the game <laughs> of Byron's <laughs> World. <laughs> I kind of went, I was thinking a bit more um, Douglas Adams. Thank you for the fish. Mm, the, the, so, thank you for the fish, comma, signed, comma, the dolphins yeah. of Byron's World. <laughs> I'm going to go with mine. Thank you for playing. Uh. Tab to switch blanks, escape to close. Okay, cool. Oh, and then you can write more after that. If you, I guess that's the point, right? Um, Tap to switch blanks, escape to clues. Yeah, or you can, if you, after, we're, after you finish, fill in the two blanks, you can continue writing below that if you feel extra inspired to write another line. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. Uh, which I'm not at the moment. I got to get into it first. Yeah. This is pro. Oh, so there's one of ten. So I think it's a ten sections. So there's going to be nine more of these. What is this landscape anyway? I don't know. It looks really cool. It's like a desert kingdom in Mario that's fallen into yeah. disrepair. The these two like gray stone things next to the mushroom house kind of look like lounge chairs, or like <laughs> a little bit to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like dystopian desert lounge chairs where you just like kick back and let the sand blow in your face. Press tab or up to use doors. So you can go inside. Also, on the roof of the mushroom house on the right, that really looks like a sniper rifle to me, pointing like straight up in the air. Oh yeah, I kind of see that. <laughs> the antenna. It's probably not what they were going for. Are you going in the mushroom house? Uh, I'm going to in a minute. I was just looking around and there's this like Ooh. glowing pedestal thing that makes a lot of noise. 
Oh, I I went in, but Oh, this looks cool. Yeah, it's like a it's like I'm inside a house almost. With books. Oh, and you can hover in here too. Oh, that's your so cool. face goes up out of the frame, so I just it's just my feet. It doesn't look like we can do anything in here. Not really anything to do, other than I mean we're exploring. There's one bookshelf missing. The the O bookshelf. Yeah, maybe that's the one on the fish. That looks like an, the one on the left kind of looks like the symbol for Leo, or or an astrological symbol. Oh yeah, they kind of do look like... I don't know what any of those look like, but they kind of look like they would match them. Is our astronaut person a guy or a girl? It's kind of hard to tell. Um, it kind of looks... Oh yeah, that's a good question. I was at first imagining that the collar, what is now obviously a collar inside the suit, was like part of his head, so it was some kind of crazy lump creature. Actually, now that I'm looking at the bookshelves, the stuff on them is interesting, too. There's a pyramid and like a circle, circle man. And like some weird lamp and some sort of odd sculpture. Yeah, and there's like a, a drawing of the sculpture and then the sculpture itself. On the top, like second from right and then the right second from bottom are kind of the same thing. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Okay. Back outside. And there's lines, the background, the lines in the background are kind of weird. Yeah, it's like, what it's like there? someone sketched on the sky. That what is what the... writers do? Mm, oh. oh, we have a prompt. Okay. I, I found a blank. Sir, you're too kind. Um, oh, remember that we're supposed to be writing a musical. Too. Oh, yeah, good point. Um, found, I found blank. Well, this is kind of like a pedestal with a moon on top of it. That's what it... The first thing that popped into my head was, I found a tiny moon. <laughs> a tiny floating moon. It's making too much noise to be a moon, though. A loud, tiny, loud floating moon. What else could... What else, what else could it be for us to find here? I don't I know found... if that noise is getting on my nerves. Let's just... It is. Let's hurry up and pick something. <laughs> hurry up and feel inspired. Oh, when you type... I didn't notice this the first time. When you type, your character, like, draws on the... the thing. Oh, jeez. All right, I gotta... <laughs> Can, what, are you floating while writing? I jumped when you, it, so as it as is required gamer decisions or discoveries. If you jump and float, you go faster. <laughs> this game is not at all about that, but it's true. I found a. I think I might have to stick with fish-like related things, seeing as I started off with the stuff about the dolphins. Obviously, I'm not going to complain about that. It's my name. <laughs> I also added a line to this. I can't I, spell all of a sudden. I now have... I found a loud moon, sir. You are too kind. It better shut up soon. I'm losing my mind. And I'm going to leave this room because I can't anymore. <laughs> uh, I, put, I found a smoked place, so you're far too kind of favorite dish of mine. All right. Let's get the hell out of from this thing. Yeah, okay. Now we're in a room with raining blood. Ew, gross. Let's maybe not call it raining blood. Let's say it's... Uh, petals? Polish? Sure, rose petals. This is the this is the romance room. There's rose petals and candles. Maybe I should have been playing this with core instead. 
<laughs> All right. There's a compass above the door, which is interesting. It's a really cool looking compass. Everything about this room so far is really cool looking. There's like, I'm going to imagine that that thing, the thing in front and like right next to the door is like a shattered world. It's like an exploded planet. Yeah, this is like the their big geography room or something. It's like, this is what the state of the planets are at the moment. There's just a big hole in it. Big hole. It's <laughs> a planet with a big hole. Don't walk over the edge. It also could be a gigantic egg where something hatched out of the top left. I don't want to know what kind of thing could fit in something that big. Well, we are in kind of an alien world. Maybe it's just a giant cat or something. Let's go with it. <laughs> a cat that hatches from an egg? Yes. Really strange cat. Well, it's an alien planet. It's true, it's an alien cat. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying that because my cat is distracting me with really loud snores. Oh, hello. That's a cute problem. I realize it's annoying, but it's still a cute problem. It is indeed. All right, writing prompt? Yeah. Oh, damn, they are ashes. They're not rose petals. Uh, uh, well, let's, let's switch it. I'm <laughs> You're changing the first word. No, oh, no, but I'm going to... I'm. Oh, I, you can, though. You can do anything. You can, like, change all of them. Ooh, interesting. I changed mine to ashes or rose petals. They scatter love everywhere. I, I've, I've gone with a kind of cricket-themed one here. So ashes are won and lost. The players scatter everywhere. I wish I understood that. Okay, the Ashes are a cricket competition that happened between England and Australia. Right! Basically right, right, right. fighting over a tiny trophy filled with the bales and wickets of the first tournament they ever did together. Okay. I love how the character writes on a little thing as you type. I know, that is so cool. That's so cool. Ooh, and the sun makes a really loud noise if you float near it. Ooh, like breathing, kind of? Yeah, and that like kind of buzzing noise. It really does breathe, actually. That's kind of freaky. Yeah. You have uh, a really noisy moon and a breathing sun. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, that is freaky. Oh, oh, the butt, yeah, the buzzing doesn't happen until you walk past it. That's... That's that's bad. That's a bad sound. I don't want to know what happened in this room. Well, maybe the maybe the heavy breathing goes along with the rose petals and the candles. Who knows? Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> what is our next prompt? Uh, it's on the floor on the other side of the um, breathing oh, sun. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Exterminate the blank, but leave blank behind. Um, well, I went with the rose petals love theme previously so let's how is that gonna how am i gonna fit into that i don't know maybe exterminate the unromantic <laughs> <laughs> just kill kill everyone who is not no exterminate the hmm um oh, exterminate mm -hmm. What have you? What have you got? Uh, exterminate the umpires, but leave the T and biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the cricket room now. Yes. So what in in your cricket verse? What was born from the the giant eggs? Um, they are gigantic cricket balls that have been broken when someone smacked them really hard with a bat. Okay. Wow. So this is sort of a graveyard of over-smashed yes. cricket balls. They they like hit it so hard they managed to get it outside of the stadium. Wow. Hmm. I liked my exterminate the candles, but leave the 
of smoke behind. Very <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> I'm going to probably end up alternating between like silly and dramatic and it's going to make a really strange. Yeah. Really. And also, you realize because this is we're writing like the musical, we have to sing it, right? When we're done. Oh my god. <laughs> you do realize that. Oh god. Okay. <clears throat> So in, in in this romantic room, what are the giant uh, broken eggs to you then? Well, romantic maybe is the wrong word. <clears throat> um, what did I start with? I gotta go back and look at mine. <laughs> Ashes are rose petals that scatter love everywhere. And exterminate the candles but leave the smoke behind. Hmm. The giant eggs are... Um, they're flower seeds that hatched, sprouted roses. Okay. Sure. The sun is what grows the ro the because the flowers need need sunlight to grow. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. that's okay. I'm so the gigantic rose seeds. They're gigantic rose seeds. Yes, that is correct. 